who you are. We can't walk out of here and forget who we are just because we're going through our trials and tribulations because God showed me that even here, he said when we walk out the door and we face our problem, we forget everything we learned. That enemy just knocked the ruach out of you and you allow him to knock it out of you because he can't do it. He can't do it unless you give him authority to do it. So even when we open up our mouths and we speak the word of God, you're speaking his breath into that situation. That same breath that he blew, in, blew into Adam and Adam came a living soul. When we open up our mouth, that's how we confess Christ Jesus in you. Ain't that how you got saved? You believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth. That started your relationship. How is it that we started our relationship like that but we want to be in a relationship where we don't do it anymore? We want to be in a relationship with him where we believe and we think it in our mind but we don't want to confess nothing with him. Think about it. How can you start that relationship like that? He said because when you confess me, I'm coming in. So now that breath that was in Jesus is that same breath on the inside of us. So when we open up our mouth, when he say, let there be light, light came. So that means that whenever we open up our mouth by us being his sons, by us being his weasses, when we open up our mouths, God, he releases angelic activity to form what we speak out of our mouths because those angels, don't, they don't hear us speaking. They hear the voice of the creator. Y'all got that? So even with that, we're talking about to form a relationship, you got to believe and you got to confess with your mouth. And it says, as the scriptures tell anyone, anyone who trusts in him will never be ashamed. So he said that if you do this, you ain't going to never be ashamed. So why are we not doing this? Right. Situation is my help. And he like, pow, he don't knock me out. I can't think of nothing. Okay, if I don't remember nothing else, I remember now. Romans 10 and 9. Believe. I believe that. I'm telling myself that I believe. And I'm saying, I believe that Jesus is Lord. And you know what? I'm confessing. I'm standing on the word of God that he said with his 39 stripes, I am healed. I'm the heal of the Lord. I command my body to line up because I walk in the authority that Christ Jesus has given me. This does not belong to me. See, I got to confess it and see the more that I speak, the more I'm going to change how I feel. And see, if we running out of stuff that we don't know what to say, what is that saying about us? We ain't reading our word. And another thing with... Uh, me out and then it kick in then. Yeah. See, all you got to do is get the motor yeah. started. The car way what cut off. What they take with them old cars? And, 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 and you know, if the battery dead, somebody give you a jump off, what you do? You keep on mashing that gas. and Next thing you know, it's running by itself. That's the same thing with your sticky notes is. Same thing with your flashcards is. You got to get the motor running. Then once it get running, you ain't got to look at the sticky cards because now everything coming up. See, because that's the job of the enemy is to get you where you don't remember. And also to what we fail to realize is that even when we're in church, it's an impartation just like how Lisa's a teacher. Every time that she get ready to give a test, don't you go over it? Don't you teach it? So when you hear these messages, you hear something of whatever that you're listening to for that week, you're going to be tested on it. That's a given. So when we sit up there, I don't know. Who fault is that? That's our fault because you've been having, and then you got, well, you can ask questions while we're going through what we're going through. But it's your job to make sure because if you don't understand something, what you do, you raise your hand and ask the teacher, what are you saying? Can you elaborate on that? So you got everything that you need to pass this test. It's just the thing is, we just got to begin to look at it and know that we're prepared for it. Because see, even here, look at, go down to Rome, uh, Romans 10, just then still, still in the 10th chapter, verse 17. So faith comes from hearing. Think about it. So even when you open up your mouth, talking about is Christ Jesus in you, when you open up your mouth, faith comes by you saying, I am healed. I'm coming out of this situation. This pain got to loose me. See, as you open up your mouth, you got to understand that even your body got to respond to the voice of the Creator. Yes. That's 
that's why you got to speak it out your mouth. Because you got to think about it. This is how I, like my mom always told me, don't start nothing that you can't finish. You know what we heard? Yeah. So even how are we going to come into the relationship and we don't want to finish? We want to get lazy. We don't want to talk. We don't want to read. We don't want to do anything. But even here, God was showing me that even as believers, we got to be self-motivators. Even being a Christian, you got to motivate yourself. Because you may wake up and, oh, I'm tired. Oh, devil, you better get up off me. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I got to motivate myself to go forth. I got to motivate myself. You know what? Come on, you got to get up and read this Bible. Come on now. You got to read. You This what we from the worship. I'm commanded. Bible says you got to put that flesh up under subjection. Why? Because, see, if you want the things of God, you're going to have to fight for it. You got an enemy that hates you. He hates your gut because you took his place. You took his place. So you think he finna, oh, I'm gonna go ease on swarm because she, she, God, do it. No, he ain't. He finna knock your head off. He gonna do everything he get. He can get you to not to read your Bible, not to worship, not to pray, not to be obedient. If his job is to do that so that we can fail the test, so that when something comes like the son and say, he don't know what to say. Cause he doing his job. Cause <laughs> then that's what we gotta do. Because he is a faith comes from hearing and hearing the good news about Christ. Isn't that what the Bible says? Hearing the good news. So when you open up your mouth and you're confessing the word, that brings faith. It says that, but how? He said, but I ask. Have 